ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته brothers and sisters الحمد لله again this is our 11th uh, episode in our uh, series of ramadan talks alhamdulillah uh today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh dua uh, uh which is supplication and and and, 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 and its importance uh, uh in ramadan alhamdulillah as you all know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa qala rabbukum wad'uni astajib lakum uh and your lord said and call on, on me and i will respond to your call alhamdulillah and so this is uh uh one of the many uh ayahs in the Quran where Allah wa ta'ala mentioned the importance of calling upon him all right uh, we also learn in in surah sort of baqarah Allah wa ta'ala says and when my servant or when my slaves ask you about me tell them that i am near and indeed that i respond to those who call upon me so therefore let them uh respond to me by obeying me and believing in me alhamdulillah um again you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said said dua huwa al ibadah that dua or supplication is uh, is ibadah and some uh, uh, ulama they translate you know it being the, the the essence of ibadah because again it showed the humility uh, of the person that's calling and and they recognize alhamdulillah the importance of being humble before the creator and recognizing that they are in need of of the guidance and protection you know uh of the creator alhamdulillah and so it establishes the the relate the kind of relationship that we need to have as servants and slaves of Allah you know so we call and we recognize you know in dua you know that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful and that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of the needs of his servants and whatever it may be if it's adversity that is upon them they seek his aid and his guidance you know and his protection to remove any kind of calamity or to bring any good to them alhamdulillah rabbil alamin um when we think of the dua again the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in ramadan in particular you know uh the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there are three uh, duas that does not go rejected Uh, that is not rejected by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, and he mentioned the just the, in one narration he mentioned the just leader the just ruler uh, his his dua is not rejected uh and the, and the person who's fasting when he breaks his fast his, his dua is not rejected you know and an oppressed person you know as a, uh, his dua is not rejected you know and another narration is in the traveler and other similar narrations okay so again uh, uh Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Ramadan those who are fasting alhamdulillah Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala definitely he is their duas and so we need to take advantage of this month uh, uh this noble month of Ramadan uh there are some hadiths and, and some other narrations as, as relates to uh, uh dua and 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 and, and, the, and the best time or good time to to make dua uh, uh uh and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us <coughs> to uh to make camel layl at night you know the tahajjud the night prayer and uh, and that is a good time to to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven at the last third of the night and he and he and he calls out where are those who are calling upon me that I may respond where are those who are asking me that I may give where are those who are seeking my forgiveness that I may forgive them alhamdulillah rabbil alamin see so this is alhamdulillah this is an excellent time to make uh dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever our needs are um uh there are uh, uh, of course certain uh uh, uh ethics uh or certain manners that we should have when we make dua or when we call upon Allah or when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alhamdulillah rabbil alamin um before i mention the i just want to mention another hadith again where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said every night every night during the month of ramadan uh, allah uh uh listen to the dua he does not uh, reject the dua so i i just want to make the point that when we break our fast that is the time you know that is that that's when the night begins so when we break our fast you know then that is the time to really to make the dua you know for whatever it is alhamdulillah we want to ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for alhamdulillah 
Uh, getting back to the issue of the ethics and the, the manners that we should have, you know, uh, with respect to making dua. I mean, all scholars have said that we should, number one, when we get ready to make the dua to Allah SWT, that we should have that firm resolve in our hearts. You know, that, you know, and being confident, you know, that Allah SWT hears our dua and the Allah SWT will, uh, will answer it, alhamdulillah, and accept it, inshallah. We should have confidence in it. So that's what we mean by resolve, you know, having strong faith and belief and trust that Allah SWT will definitely answer your dua. And also having patience. Having patience, because sometimes we make the dua and we want things to happen right away, you know. And there's a hadith uh, that's uh, uh, collected by Ibn, uh, Ibn Majah and uh, one of our great scholars, the hadith al Bani, uh, uh, Nasiruddin al Bani, rahimahullah. He said this is a good hadith uh, <coughs> where he mentioned that Allah SWT laughs, Allah SWT laughs for the despair of his servant as, uh, as he, Allah, will soon relieve him or give him an answer. In other words, you know, we be, you know, we make the dua, and we, you know, we make the dua, and we keep making the dua, and things are not happening the way we want it to, to happen, or it doesn't come in the time frame that we want it to come, and so we begin, we, we, we become frustrated, and we, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and sad, as if Allah SWT is not going to answer the dua. So Allah laughs, because Allah is soon ready to answer the dua. So this teaches us that we should not despair, and we should not become impatient, even if Allah SWT's relief is there. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil um, One should uh, never say, uh, Oh my Lord, forgive me if you will. He should... Uh, be persistent in asking because nothing forces Allah SWT, okay? So we should never ask Allah SWT for something and then become frustrated, you know, become impatient and, uh, uh, or, or say, inshallah, because Allah SWT is the doer of that which he wills. Alhamdulillah, um, uh, Praise Allah, so, uh, another important etiquette, when we get ready to make the dua, we should always praise Allah SWT first. And, and number two, then we should send salams upon Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then we should seek the forgiveness of Allah SWT. After this, we should be conscious of the time that dua is accepted, as we mentioned earlier. You know, the, the last third of the night, alhamdulillah, Allah descends and He says, "Well, those who are uh, calling upon me, that I may respond to them." Okay. Uh, one should be mindful when they're making sujood or sajda. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi said, "Make lots of sajda." Make, make lots of dua in such to because that is the nearest that one comes to Allah SWT. So take advantage of this. And this is mentioned in the Sahih Muslim Hadith. Also, uh, 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 between the Adhans, you know, uh, uh, and the Iqama, that's when, when Muadhan makes the Adhan, alhamdulillah, we, we, send, uh, 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 we, we make dua and send salams upon the Prophet. And we ask, ask Allah SWT to, to grant the Prophet Maqam Mahmuda. And we make whatever dua we want. This is a good time, you know. Uh, for, for dua to be made and to be accepted. Um, uh, we make dua, another good time for making dua, brothers and sisters, is alhamdulillah, after the, after the, 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 the five prayers, right after the prayer, we make the dua, alhamdulillah, to Allah uh, The last hour on Friday is a good time, you know, uh, to make dua, Allah uh, uh, The Prophet encouraged to make dua on Fridays and the dua will not be rejected. On the day of Arafat, we make the duas and they are accepted. Uh, uh, we mentioned earlier breaking the fast each day, alhamdulillah, and also the traveler, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. This is the good times and, and uh, to, 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 to make the dua, inshallah. Also, some narration mentioned when you visit the sick, alhamdulillah, you know, ask the sick person to make dua for you. For Allah SWT accept the dua of the sick person when, they, uh, when uh, we, we visit them, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So we ask Allah SWT, you know, to increase us in dua, take advantage of Ramadan, you know, and make lots of dua, lots of supplication, you know. Most of all, ask Allah SWT to increase your iman and, and, and to make you strong and, and, to, and, and patience and, 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 and accept, you know, all of the good deeds that you do. Pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for the, the, the community, pray for the ummah. Always make dua, alhamdulillah, for the ummah, alhamdulillah. We ask Allah SWT to bless us. Subhanahu wa bihamdika, shalom alayna, and astaghfirullah. And also, again, stay tuned uh, for the next episode uh, from ITV uh, USA. Assalamu alaikum wa